I was talking about ass whooping uh, Sunday. I did a podcast Sunday, uh, and I was telling folks we grew up. Ass whooping was part was a class we had in school. We basically we literally got our asses whooped on a regular basis. <laughs> we had ass whooping third period. I went to Catholic school, and Catholic school, um, you know, first when I first got there, it wasn't no paperwork or nothing. Then they started asking for permission to whoop you, for corporal punishment, they call this shit. That was a technical name, corporal punishment. I'm like, why is corporal punishment doing shit to me? I don't even know this. I don't even know, homeboy. Why? Anyway, so I remember Catholic school, man, we were, um, <laughs> I was in an all boys class at one time. And my mama damn sure signed, she signed the paper and, and, and bossed the shit, had it notarized, whatever the case may be, to make sure they knew it was good to whoop my ass. And one of the things they did to us, man, um, in Catholic school, they would make you pull your pants down. Teacher would grab you, take the take take her finger, the nun, take your finger on the side of your drawers and turn that motherfucker and tighten your drawers up and make sure that she got a good grip where you can't really run. And not, they didn't use the rulers, they used pointers, the little, little round rods. Wear your ass out till she break them some guns. Okay. So she broke so many damn rulers, so many uh, pointers. They had a contest. They had a contest. Who could make the goddamn best paddle? I'm not bullshitting, okay? And whoever made the best paddle didn't get a swat for two weeks, okay? So our little dumb fifth grade asses go home to our daddy's wood shops around the city and start making paddles so we won't get swatted for two weeks. And I'm at the pad. I'm, I'm working on my little project. I'm making mine out of plywood. And my daddy said, what you doing, man? I said, I'm making the paddle. I'm in a contest at school to make a paddle for the uh, whoever don't. And I said, "What you making the paddle for? Whoever don't make a will make the best paddle won't get a swat for two weeks." He said, "What?" He said, "Wait a minute. What about the third week?" I said, "Damn, that's right. They be beating you with your own paddle. The winner gonna get beat with his own shit, right?" And sure enough, sure enough, the winner, the winner made got a paddle. He made a paddle out of a cricket bat. You ever seen a cricket bat? Of course. Cricket Cricket bat look, look like a damn rope, look like an oar from a, a, a rowboat, but it's shorter. It's flat on one side and it got a long handle on it. And them nuns love that cricket bat. Okay. Homeboy drilled holes in it, put tape around the edge of it. Man, that motherfucker was that motherfucker was awesome, right? And what they would do, what we would do sometimes, if we was trying to get out of a test or, or do some dumb shit. We knew the teacher, we would we would do a um, nobody snitch move, right? And the nuns got hip because what they would do, they whooped the whole class. If nobody's gonna tell, we're gonna tell, we're gonna, I'm gonna spank everybody, swat everybody. So the one teacher would start swatting people. And I'm in the W's. So by the time she got to the W's and the T's, she was tired as shit. Okay. So we I barely got my ass whooped. Then they got smart. We pulled that shit one day, man. And she went and got some reinforcements. Every nun, they brought in four nuns, five nuns, and every nun had a row. By the time they got through, got to the W's, them heifer was still fresh, okay? They broke that shit up real quick, okay? But yeah, my boy got beat with his own paddle, okay? And dude, we clowned that dude for, the, for, for God knows how long. You got beat with your own paddle, man. How did that feel, okay? You had to be feel awful fucking stupid. That's no shit. Even at Vanguard, by the time I went to Cent uh, left left Saint Albans, went to Vanguard. Mr. Crow, uh, the the, uh, the uh, vice principal at Vanguard, this dude had forearms like Popeye. Okay, and if you went to Mr. Crow's office, you had to take you know you might get three, five, or ten. <sighs> Depending on what you did, if you got three, you can survive three. If you if you got ten, it was either suspension or ten. Suspension of 10. If you took that 10, man, that was a long 10. Dude, you, had to, you had to grab your ankles, dude. He would hit you five times and give you a little time to think about it. It was a whole, it was a whole mental process, dude. It was some deep shit, man. Yeah, we got swatted like a son of a bitch. And it made me the man I am today. That's why I don't do shit, a lot of shit to this day. And I ain't stupid, okay? <laughs> Swats make you, make you, keep you from being stupid. Corporal punishment keep you from being stupid, okay? We never drove in circles oh, in a car because we had SWATs. Go ahead. 
No, nah, man, I'm just saying, dude, dude. We never drove in the circles in the middle of the goddamn street because we had we we drove in a straight line down the down the uh, empty street away from people's houses and shit. We didn't go take over a damn uh, intersection and go in, go in circles at four o'clock in the morning, knowing people got to go to work in the morning. Man, we have more respect than that. That's what a SWAT would teach your ass respect. We have respect. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, All together, dude, everything changed, man. The first thing they did was made it difficult for you to discipline your children in, in, in the household. Used to be a time, dude, I swear to God, if somebody, if you did something stupid down the street before you got home, everybody knew about it. And, you know, and the, the, the neighbor would bring you down, bring you home. Man, come get your son. All right, I tapped him up a couple times already. Uh, you do what you got to do. And then, then you get an ass whooping. For embarrassing your mama or daddy, okay? You get ass of them. The neighbor had to put hands on you, and then they never, neighbor never fucked you up, but they snatch you on your ass a little bit. They snatch you around. Get your ass. Come on, boy. Come on. Get your, your bad ass. Come on out here. Mr. Mr. Williams, your boy did so and so and so and so. And you sitting there praying to God. <laughs> and you can't call a grown person a lie. Oh, that never happened. But then you get then they, then they get into the situation where there's no competition. You ain't got no uh, Ain't nobody, no, no competitiveness. You stop keeping score in sports. Uh, you everybody get a participation trophy and shit. You can't um, discipline the kids in school. No corporal punishment. You can't even talk different. You can't even talk hard to them. When I play baseball, my coach, get your ass over here, right? I mean, talk crazy to you, but you understood and respected the shit. It made you a better player, man. Some one of my boys told me he stopped coaching, man, because the mamas want to coach too. Don't talk to him like that. Get the fuck off the field. And this is the kind of shit that we've been dealing with, man. And then you then you throw social media on top of that with no discipline, none. Come on, dude. And then you throw um, uh, some ribbon and some Adderall and some other shit on top of that. Come on, man. And I think I told you this before. A lot of the shit that these kids are taking drugs for is just sugar highs. I believe it. Everything in the morning for a kid to eat is sugar smacks, sugar smacks, flakes, this, fruit loops, whatever the case may be. And guess what? Think about this. Why is it so funny when your grandmama, when the grandmama give the kids some some uh, chocolate or sugar before they send them home to their mama? They know the kid's going to be up all night long. You do the same thing to the kid in the morning and if you give them sugar for sending them to school. He on the sugar rush. You wonder why the kid sit down in class? His ass on the sugar rush. He high. But nobody nobody want to believe that. Okay? It's a sugar rush. And boys are, the boys are worse than girls. Simple as that. We're worse than, we're worse than girls. But as, as opposed to um, taking him off that sugar, you give his ass Ritalin. You give him ass Adderall. You give him some other shit to you know, slow him down. And now his ass is a goddamn zombie. At some point in time, he's going to come off that shit. And then... They tell you the shit will uh, induce thoughts of suicide. If it in, if it induces thoughts of suicide, wouldn't it induce thoughts of homicide too? If I'm thinking about killing me, I'm damn sure thinking about killing you. But that's don't don't pay me no attention. I ain't got no degree. <laughs>